The first woman to serve as Attorney General, Janet Reno, has died. At six feet tall, Reno was one of the most recognizable and polarizing figures, serving nearly eight years under President Bill Clinton, one of the longest to hold the post. She faced tough decisions throughout her career, setting the tone for modern day challenges. Here, following the 1996 Olympic Park bombing in Atlanta. That terrorism must be every nation's concern and that we stand united in our desire to defeat it. Early in her tenure, she faced intense criticism for the deadly raid on the Branch Davidian compound in Waco, Texas. Branch Davidian leader David Koresh and some 80 of his followers died following a 51-day standoff when the complex caught fire. News outlets captured the scene as it burned to the ground. Later, the Miami native enraged her hometown's Cuban-American community when she authorized the armed seizure of six-year-old Elian Gonzalez. Photos captured by the Associated Press raised questions about the moment federal authorities entered the home where Elian was staying with relatives. And as I understand it, if you look at it carefully, it shows that the gun was pointed to the side and that the finger was not on the trigger. It is important in these situations to look carefully and to understand the facts. Reno defended their actions. This has been a very emotional case for everyone involved. The most important thing is that Ileon is safe and that no one was seriously hurt. Gonzalez was then returned to Cuba with his father. In 1995, Reno was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease after noticing a trembling in her left hand. Well, I, my, my hand was shaking this summer and I thought it would go away. I thought it was maybe you all picking on me. <laughs> She announced the diagnosis during a weekly press conference and vowed that it would not hinder her job performance. And I intend to keep on doing it. After leaving Washington, Reno returned to her home state of Florida. In 2002, she made an unsuccessful bid for governor, losing in the Democratic primary. That would be her last foray into politics. In recent years, she served on the board of the Innocence Project, which works to free prisoners who can be exonerated through DNA testing. Padmanandarama, The Associated Press.